Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be doing May um, BoxyCharm by Ipsy. So I do have my products here in my box. I did go ahead and prime my lids because I just wanted to save time. I went ahead and primed my lids and I primed my face. Um, so we're gonna first go in with the eyeshadow palette. So I did get the Ciate London I Am A Woman What's Your Superpower Volume 2 palette. So this is that right there. Okay, and then these are the shades. These shades are very pretty and I think they're gonna go well with what I'm wearing today. So this is the palette. All right, so in this palette here, I am probably just gonna go in with a couple shades here as a transition color. I'm just gonna mix them because these are rather light. So I'm probably gonna go in with this color right here, which is Empowered, and then this one right here, which is uh, No Apologies. So I'm just gonna mix this on my eyelid here. And I hope everybody is doing well. All right, so first impressions, I do like the eyeshadow palette, but it does seem kind of dry. So I'm just gonna go in and try and build it up just a little bit more here and see. Okay, so I am going to go in with this purple color here. I'm going to go in, actually no, I'm going to take the lighter color first and then I'm going to take the purple color, the darker purple color on top. Always love mixing shades uh, with eyeshadow. Okay, so the eyeshadow again, it is a little bit chalky, but again, it is buildable, so that's a plus. Okay, and then with the same color, I'm now gonna go in with the darker purple and build it up. The formula, it's just dry. The colors are very pretty. It's like, cause if you look, this color of purple, it looks pretty dark. It looks almost blue. And then if you look at my eye, it's kind of light, so. We'll make it work. So here in a few moments, we'll go in with the shimmers and see if they, you know, if they're pigmented. All right, so the purple is on. So that is the color there. I think I'm gonna take this color in the corner and it looks like it's called Audacious. So I'm gonna take this color, I'm gonna spray my brush and apply this on my eyelid. Okay, so it looks like there's a little bit more payoff with a smaller brush. I do like the color, it's pretty, but it's just not popping enough for me. So I am going to try and build it up with another color and I am just going to switch sides. And I think I'm going to take this Hear Me Roar color right here. It's kind of like, it almost looks like a light purple with some sparkles in it. So we're going to see what that does here. Again, I'm just going to dip and spray. And I'm kind of going ham with it to see if it's going to, you know, be pigmented on my eyelid. So let's see. Okay, now this color looks like it's showing more. You see it? So I really like how that looks here. I really like the color of that Hear Me Roar. I like the sparkles in there, it's really pretty. I'm one of those that like glitter and sparkles and shimmer and things like that, so that's me. Then I'm gonna mix powerful and see what happens. Okay, so this is really cute. This turned out to be like just a whole glitter look, but I'm not mad at it, I'm here for it. Okay, so I have my foundation on and I have my concealer on. So we're gonna go ahead in with a cream bronzer and in the BoxyCharm, it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick. Uh, the shade that I have is Mink Contour Stick. Um, the color looks cool tone. 
here. It does look cool tone. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Again, I don't really bronze my skin like this with cream contour, but I did say I was going to practice. So we'll just see what happens. Ooh, you see that? Oh my. So, I'm just gonna put a few dots over here, just color around. Just like how I see everybody doing it. Hopefully this is not a fail. I'll just drag it down here too. All right. I'm just gonna take a little dense brush here and see what happens. Okay, it looks like it's blending in nicely. Looks like it's blending in perfectly. It is cool toned, so I can say that it is cool toned. But yeah, I like the I like that. Looks pretty. All right, so that's good. All right, blended in like a champ. Okay, so. The next thing that I have is the Cheek Treat TYS Beauty Splash Liquid Blush. So let's see what this does. All right, it looks really pretty. So this is the packaging here, um, and this is the wand here. So let's see. I'm just doing a couple dots. And I'm going to take the same brush that I used for the bronzer and try and blend it out and see what happens. Oh my goodness. Oh my. This is very pigmented. You don't even need two dots. You just need one dot, one dot. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I look like a clown. It's a very pretty color despite me looking like a clown. It's a very pretty color. I used way too much product. And now I'm going to have to go in with my foundation brush and try and <laughs> blend this out. <laughs> this has never happened before. All right. So as you can tell, I'm not a pro with liquid blushes and contour sticks and things like that. But hey. No rules of makeup, right? Now, I would not recommend coming out looking like this. But it's a very pretty color. Guys, if you ever have an issue like I just did, to where you have way too much product on, where you're looking like a clown, anything like that, and you still have some foundation left over on your foundation brush, take it and blend it in because it will conceal that. All right. And then I think I'm just going to take that color... Um, powerful and put that in my inner corner all right so there's that all right and then i'll probably just take this purple shade here and just go across my lower lash line with it All right, guys, so this completes the look. Um, I really do like how everything turned out. Um, I do like the eyeshadow palette, but it's very colorful. I love the sparkles. I love the shimmers. It's just that some of these formulas, the powders, they're a little bit more dry, but it is a beautiful palette, and I'll be using it again. I really like the colors in there. I really like the color story. As far as the cream blush, this is very pigmented. Um, you do not need a lot as we seen on here. You do not need a lot. Just one little dot and blend it in. But again, if you overdo it with the blush, just take your foundation brush and blend it in and you'll be saved by it. So I really like this. It's very pretty and I really like the color and it's, it's very pretty, very pigmented as well. As far as the luminizer primer, I can tell my face is a little bit, you know, shiny, um, but it's nice. It's nice. I'll continue using it and you know see what it does 
As far as the contour stick by Anastasia, I was kind of worried because it was kind of cool tone and it was dark at the same time, but it turned out to be a flawless finish. I really like it and it blended onto the skin. So it turned out really nice. As far as the concealer, that was really nice as well. It's a little light, but it did work. I did make it work. Um, so I'll continue using this, but it looks like it could be probably my winter shade, um, being that summer's here, but it's a very nice uh, concealer and it, it is brightening as well. So, but yeah, that is it guys. Um, this completes the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I will have more content loading and as always stay blessed.